And so it was, four in the morning, and a few city blocks away, Will woke from a blackout in bed with a girl, cold and with no clothes on, and stepped across her body supine, only to fall to the floor, holding his head with its unbearable ache. He leaned over the sink for minutes, with one hand cupped and spilling water up to his lips. The hurt was profound, and he settled for her clothes he found on the bathroom floor, and thank God daylight had not broken. When she woke in the morning, he begged for aspirin and nestled his messy head of hair in her abdomen. Who she was and where he lay had not registered with him. She gave him aspirin and a little green Valium and made him want to take her expensive clothes off. And so he did. They lay naked under a thin sheet, and she let him hold her while she made phone calls from the bed and called him a motherfucker to her friends on the line. This whore woke me at four in the morning, beating down my door, she said. A while later, the sun was up and the blinds pulled while she made love on top of him while still on the phone. And he was in no condition to deny her, semi-conscious as he was, for he did not remember the fight she said they had, nor making love to her forcefully yet consensually in the early hours. He had asked her over and over how could she live with herself, and told her she was cursed, and cursed her before he passed out. Lance somehow got word or figured it out and came to Cass's apartment and hustled Will out. They searched for his wallet for 10 minutes, found it under the bed where he had put it with his keys and shoes. Cass called him a whore all the way out the door, gnashing her teeth at them both. Will had his jeans pulled over her slip. You crazy son of a bitch, Lance declared in the car. What the hell were you thinking? I, I don't remember anything, Lance, I swear. This morning, I didn't even know where I was when I woke up. I totally blacked out, man. I felt sick when I saw it was her. Should I ask why you're wearing her slip? I don't rightly know. I think she kind of took advantage of me. Boy, you have got to get yourself together. I may be moving back to Florida, and what are you going to do then? I can take care of myself, Lance. You can't even dress yourself. I'm very depressed. Drinking too much, I know. I know, it's my medication. They say medication should be coupled with therapy, or else it's useless. Well, I've been meaning to call my therapist. Good for you, good man, but stop thinking and do it. Call your therapist. You need therapy like a rice cooker needs rice. And stay away from Cass, okay? I should have known. She lives so close to the party. You must have just stumbled over there out of habit. Lance, you read me like a book. Hey, I got some dead lead. You want to go shoot? We'll find you some heels, and voila, Charlie's Angel. <laughs>